This is a download from BBC Learning English. For terms of use, go to bbclearningenglish.com. Hello, I'm Yvonne Archer. This is Six Minute English, and today I'm joined by Callum. Hello, Callum. Hello, Yvonne. Now, this week we ask: Is there any difference between a really big hill and a small mountain? Dictionaries basically say that a hill is not as high as a mountain, and a mountain is higher than a hill. Anything to add, Callum? Well, if big hills and small mountains were the same, we probably wouldn't need separate nouns for them in English. Good point. But before we find out more, here's a question for you: Which of these three places is proud to have the world's highest hill? Is it A. Beverly Hills? B. Dar es Salaam or C. Oklahoma. Um, this is just going to be a guess because、mm. I, I really have no idea. I'm going to guess at Oklahoma. Okay, we'll find out the answer at the end of the program. Recently, a report from the BBC's David Bamford had some people thinking that in Snowdonia, North Wales, people were making a mountain out of a molehill. But before we hear about that story, here's a look at some of the language we'll come across. Callum, what can you tell us about Ordnance Survey maps? Well, Ordnance Survey is the name for Great Britain's official mapping agency. So their maps are known as the most accurate, the most up-to-date, and the most reliable maps、uh, available. Even the the government relies on them, and even and I do too. When I go walking, I always take an Ordnance Survey map with me and my compass. Excellent. So we'll hear ordnance survey maps in today's report, but listen out for the answer to this question as well: How high is a mountain? For many years now, Wales has been very popular with both tourists and mountaineers, people who enjoy climbing mountains. So, how would you feel if what you proudly think of as your local mountain is officially classified as a mere hill? That's been the case till now for Minnith Grey Gorch in North Wales. The locals knew it was a mountain. That's why they called it Minnith, the Welsh word for mountain. But British Ordnance Survey maps classified it as a hill because it was assumed to be under 2,000 feet high. That's 609 meters, the recognised minimum height for a mountain. So, how high is a mountain, Callum? Well, anything over 2,000 feet high. Now that's 609 meters high. That's a mountain. And anything under or less than two thousand feet high is officially a hill. So, what happened with our mountain in Wales? What happened there? Well, the report said that Ordnance Survey assumed it was less than two thousand feet high, but they didn't actually know for sure that that was true. Ooh, a big mistake, hey? But luckily, a group of mountaineers who live in the area used very reliable equipment to measure their mountain, and they proved that it's definitely not a hill. It's six inches high, or fifteen point two centimeters higher than the minimum. So, Ordnance Survey will change their map. Hooray for Wales! They finally got their extra mountain. Yeah. BBC Learning English dot com. Callum, you're a film buff. Do you know anything about a film with a similar story? Well, yes, there was a romantic comedy、uh, with the actor Hugh Grant、oh. in 1995,、mm. and that was called "The Englishman Who Went Up a Hill But Came Down a Mountain." Yeah, <laughs> I love that title. Now, as we hear what the film is about, try to guess what a cartographer is. What's a cartographer? In the film, a Welsh community fought the attempts of two English cartographers to downgrade their local mountain to a hill, and they did so by carrying mounds of earth up to the summit when the cartographers weren't looking. Oh, that was very naughty, Callum. What did the community do so that their mountain wouldn't become a hill, making it less important? Well, what they did was they took mounds of earth. Which is piles of soil up to the summit, and that's the highest point on a on a hill or a mountain. It's、mm. the summit, and so they did that to make sure that it was high enough to be a mountain when the officials measured it. Crafty, and what's a cartographer? Well, a cartographer is an official whose job is to draw maps. Great. Now on to today's big question: 
Which of these three places is proud to have the world's highest hill? Is it A. Beverly Hills, B. Dar es Salaam, or C. Oklahoma? Callum, what was your answer? Well, my answer was just、uh, purely just a guess. I guessed at Oklahoma because Beverly Hills. Well, that's a very rich、uh, suburb of Los Angeles, and、um, mm. I don't think there are really any big <laughs> hills there. Dar es Salaam. I don't know anything about Dar es、mm. Salaam. I've I've never been there. But I've never been to Oklahoma, but I can remember、um, from movies and so on that it's quite a few hills and mountains there. So perhaps it's purely、yeah. a guess, but I'm going to go for Oklahoma. Excellent guess and well worked out, actually. Because you're absolutely right. <laughs> Excellent. Oh yes. <laughs> so well done to you, Callum, and that's all for today's six-minute English. Goodbye. Goodbye.